Active Care plus SFT. The effective and safe way to prevent deep vein thrombosis. Welcome. This video is designed to help you understand the importance of Active Care plus SFT and to show you how to use the device in your own home. Your doctor has prescribed Active Care Plus SFT for you to prevent deep vein thrombosis, or DVT for short. DVT is a blood clot that forms in the leg and can move to your lungs, causing a life-threatening condition called a pulmonary embolism, or PE. Active Care Plus SFT is designed to prevent DVT and its deadly consequences. It works by using Synchronized Flow Technology, or SFT, an advanced system that applies gentle intermittent compression to the legs, increasing the speed of blood flow in the veins, reducing the risk of clot formation. Active Care Plus SFT is a small, portable, and comfortable device that has been clinically proven to be just as effective as blood thinners without producing serious side effects such as bleeding. In addition, Active Care Plus SFT eliminates the need for daily drug injections and blood level monitoring. Using Active Care Plus SFT at home. You should have some familiarity with Active Care Plus SFT as you have been wearing it while in the hospital. Prior to being discharged, you will receive a rental unit of Active Care Plus SFT. It will either be the same unit you wore in the hospital or one just like it. You will take this home with you and use it for the duration of your therapy as prescribed by your doctor. Once your therapy is complete, your rental active care system must be returned to the hospital or outpatient provider. Your rental system will include a set of sleeves, two tubes, and one charger. The device and all components, except for the sleeves, must be returned at the end of your treatment. To use Active Care Plus SFT at home, follow these four simple steps. Step 1. Placing the sleeves. Place the sleeve with tubing at the knee. Fasten the top flap first, smoothing the sleeve down the back of the leg, fastening the middle flap, and finally the bottom flap above the ankle. Close the sleeve with the fasteners until you have a snug fit. Fit should allow for the insertion of two fingers between the leg and sleeve. Check this two-finger fit at the opening near the knee and the opening at the ankle. Repeat on your other leg. The sleeves can be worn over simple cotton stockinettes, thin pajama bottoms, or tube socks. They may also be worn under sweatpants or pajama bottoms to hide the tubing. Step 2. Connecting the sleeves to the device. Connect one end of the extension tube to sleeve connector. Find the arrows on each component and connect arrow to arrow. Also, be sure you have a secure connection at both ends. Repeat for the other sleeve. Step 3. Connecting the device. Connect the AC-DC adapter to the DC power supply jack on the back of the device. Do not use a cell phone, camera, or any other type of charger. Only use the adapter that came with your system. Connect the adapter to the main power supply to charge the battery. A screen appears indicating the battery is charging. When the battery is fully charged, the indicator will stop flashing. Step 4. Operating the device. Turn on the power switch located at the back of the device. 
your device will automatically select the correct mode of operation. Then your sleeves will begin to inflate sequentially, starting at the bottom. You should then see the main screen with four options, Compliance Bar, Treatment Mode, Battery, and Status Menu. Let's go over what each one of these means. The Compliance Bar will show you how often you are wearing the device. You should be wearing it almost all the time, even when sleeping. Your surgeon can determine if you have worn the device for the amount of time required. If your compliance level goes below 80% on the LCD screen, you should call your doctor. The treatment mode is automatically selected. You don't have to do anything. The numbers you see represent the average pressure applied to your leg. Battery icons indicate your level of battery power and will let you know when to recharge. While the battery is charging, the indicator will be active. It will stop flashing when the battery is fully charged. A fully charged battery lasts 5 hours. If you are active and on the go, you will need to recharge the battery during the day. Anytime you are stationary, sitting in a chair or lying down, leave the device connected to the main supply so the battery can charge. Active Care plus SFT on the go. On a fully charged battery, Active Care plus SFT can be disconnected from the main supply for up to five hours, so it can go wherever you go. It's lightweight, portable, and comfortable to wear. And for maximum protection against DVT, wear it as much as possible, at least 20 hours per day. You can wear Active Care plus SFT almost everywhere and any time, but never in the water. It should be removed for bathing, swimming, or when in the rain. To bring the device with you, place the carrying strap diagonally across your shoulder to prevent slipping or discomfort. The device should always be connected to the leg sleeves. Be sure to wrap up the tubing as shown. If you need to take a break for bathing or skin checks at this time, turn off the device and remove the sleeve. Do not leave the unit running when you take it off. To resume use, place the sleeve on your leg as instructed earlier. Then turn on the device. Caring for your Active Care Plus SFT. The Active Care Plus SFT system is easy to care for. All the components have been cleaned beforehand, so there's no need for additional cleaning. The disposable sleeves are for your personal use only. They should not be machine washed, just wipe down with a damp cloth. If you must clean any other part of the system, use a cotton swab pad dampened with a 70% alcohol-based solution. Do not wet the pump or bring it into contact with water. The device should be stored at room temperature, 60 to 90 degrees. Do not cover with pillows or blankets or take into a wet or steamy environment like a bathroom. Troubleshooting. Active Care Plus SFT can detect problems and will prompt you to take corrective action. The most common problems are low battery, air blockage, and air leakage. If you see the low battery screen, it means you need to charge your battery. This usually occurs after five hours of unplugged usage. Air blockage is usually caused by a kink in the tubing. You can usually fix this by checking the tubing and smoothing out any kinks or blockages you see. An air leakage may occur when the tubing isn't connected properly. If you get this message, make sure all your connections are secure. The majority of other problems can be solved by turning the device off for a minute or two, then turning it back on. If problems persist, contact your outpatient provider. You're ready to get active with Active Care Plus SFT. You've got the information you need to get started on Active Care Plus SFT at home. Let's review some do's and don'ts about the system. 
Don't get any components near water. Don't wear the device when bathing. Don't use any adapter but the one that came with the device. Don't take breaks for longer than 30 minutes. Do wear the device as much as possible, at least 20 hours per day. Do enjoy all your normal activities as allowed by your doctor. Do keep the device plugged in while stationary. Do return the device when therapy is complete. If you have additional questions or need more information, contact your outpatient provider, consult the user's manual, or call the Active Care Plus SFT hotline at 800-377-5804. If you have medical questions, contact your doctor.